So you have your new block element to Blogger and you would like to add a custom URL to it. I'm going to show you how to do this in a very easy way. The very first thing you want to do, of course, is to purchase a custom domain. So welcome back to Taxpress. Let's go here and the first step is to purchase a custom domain if you haven't already. You can buy this from a register like GoDaddy, Namecheap, uh, Hostinger and so much more. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be going directly into Hostinger, go into domains and get a new domain. So I'm going to type the word tech expressed and look out for search. Check out all the prices that were generated for you. For example, this uh, is costing you only $1 per year. So if you kind of like what you're seeing though, let's go into buy your domain. After you have to buy your domain for one year, let's go for complete the payment. And now directly into the provider that you chose, you might be seeing this directly into your portfolio of the domains. So, in every place where you buy and purchase a domain, you should be having the access of managing this domain. Inside here, you now have access to the DNS name servers. These are the information, the records that we needed to make, of course, to make the connection, of course, between one place and another one, in this case, Blogger. Now that we have the domain already been purchased, let's access our Blogger settings. So let's log in into your Blogger account and go directly into your dashboard. Into your dashboard of the blog, do you want to set up with a custom domain? So here, I have here into the option, and as you can see, we have the different blocks section. So I'm going to focus, of course, into the block I would like to use, for example, the how to get started with Shopify 2024. And here's the beginner's guide, right? Now scrolling down, I have the section that says settings. Here, you should see that we have all of this information. What I need to do is to look out for the section that says publishing. Into publishing, I'm going to focus into the custom domain. As you should see here, this is the blocked address that we currently have. So if I copy, this address and I paste it into a new tab. This should be the actual blog that we have available inside Blogger. How to get started with the Shopify 2024 Beginner's Guide. So, uh, with this information, what I can do is to go into the upper side and go for custom domain. Now, it's going to be asking you which is the custom domain which you'd like to use for the new publishing site. For that, let's go back into the provider. In this case, it should be the hosting app. I'm going to copy the domain that I have purchased, which is textpressvideos.online. So I'm going to hit now here, paste my custom domain, and hit into save. Now it says the block may not be hosted at naked domains. Please add a top level domain, triple W or sub the domain. So I'm going to try it out with triple W and hit now into save. If you have exactly the same uh, settings or travel back, you can of course look out for the redact domain too and enable this. Now, as you should see, the fallback zip domain should be exactly the same. So, once we are in here, including the triple W prefix, hit now into save. Blogger will display an error message and provide two scene and end records. So, I wanted to make sure that this uh, DNS records has now been added automatically. So let's go here and see back and below the page. If you don't see the redirecting of that, let's go here into yes. Now, as you should see, this is the actual record that we needed to use. Let's go into CNAME, triple W, and add the target. So if I use this information, let's go into my domain section. Let's go for DNS server. And here I'm going to try to add a new CNAME, which in this case should be uh, ghs.google.com so i wanted to add a new one let's go for edit ghs.google.com let's go for update there we go and the second one should be uh the 4a records so we can avoid the create account for this ip address so after selecting this ip address we want to make sure that this element has not been added automatically. So let's go here back. I have an at a record, and this is the file needed to change for this. So I copy it, I record for this IP address, edit, and change the uh, point section. There we go. Now let's go back directly into our URL and reload the page. When you reload the page, this might be taking up to 48 hours to redirect. 
but now you're now be seeing that your new site has now been published automatically and as you can see it's going to be asking me to add one more domain section which in this case one more dns this should be this name triple w the destination we have just do that and the name of this and this destination so make sure that you have added all of this triple w there we go now go for saved and wait a few minutes till the setting has not been activated to make sure that your domain has not been added correctly inside the blogger and lastly make sure that the redirect domain too i enable this now i can use this domain and check out if this one is available if it's not, you don't have to worry about that. You just need to wait a couple of hours till this process has now been successfully done. So make sure that all of your element has now been successfully added directly into your blocked element of the hosting or the place where you make the purchase of your hosting domains. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great elements uh, here directly into the Shopify and Blogger and the hosting gear and so much more elements in the text press. Thank you once again for watching this video, guys. Hopefully, we can all see you next time.